StockBuild Plus currently has built-in integration with two popular e-signature solutions, DocuSign and EchoSign. To enable e-signatures, configure your e-signature account credentials in the DocBuild Plus Application Configurations menu by entering in your information and clicking the checkbox to enable it. Once you have set that up, you'll see a DocuSign or EchoSign button on the toolbar in the Documents tab. If you need more information on configuring your account, please watch the Installing and Configuring DocBuild video or refer to the DocBuild user manual. If you are using other e-signature solutions that provide the ability to print to and or automatically upload to your account, you can still use DocBuild to create the document and then use whatever processes for those providers have for getting documents into their system for sending. In this demo, I'll be using DocuSign to send a document for an electronic signature. When you click the DocuSign button, you'll be prompted to enter in the recipient's information. In the Send To line, enter the email address of the person whose signature you wish to collect. You can also enter in that person's name, as well as put in a subject in the email and a message. When you're finished filling out the fields, click Send. Your pages in DocBuild Plus will be uploaded into the eSignature program portal for you to work on and apply any signature fields or other fields or tools that your solution provider has available. You can see in the DocuSign interface I am able to drag and drop certain fields that I need the customer to sign such as a signature or a date. When I have completed making my marks where the customer signature needs to go, I am able to hit the send button and it will email the document. That is generally all there is to it. Please note, once your document has been uploaded from your computer into your e-signature solution for processing, DocBill Plus is no longer involved in that process. Since your document is now in their system, you will follow whatever processes and procedures are available by that provider and contact them for any support questions or needs if needed.